I started fly fishing about two years after I joined forces with Peter McLeod. He sent me off to Guatemala with a 12 weight. I hadn't ever picked up a fly rod at that point and um, I hadn't even had a casting lesson. So it took me a few years to catch up and catch trout, but uh, it was a good introduction to the saltwater side, which I've come to love very much. In my previous life, I took people on safari and took them birding, but at the moment I'm working hard for my Gaia qualification because I really want to be able to teach. I'd love to be able to help people get out on the river, learn how to fish, particularly women and children. I think it's very important that we expand the knowledge and get as many people out fishing as we can. I have spent a lot of time in the Seychelles. For the last 10 years I've gone back to fish Alphonse every year. Uh, I've also fished down on Farqua. I've been to Mauritius to fish St Brandon's, the fabulous flats of Sudan. I uh, fished in Namibia. I fished in uh, South Africa, Cameroon, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Venezuela. I uh, fished in Iceland. And of course here at home on our beautiful chalk streams. What's my favourite species to target on fly? Well that's pretty easy. It's either going to be tigerfish or triggerfish. My top tip for a travelling angler, go out with an open mind. Don't go out with a shopping list every day on the flats or on a river. Just go out with an open mind and target whatever species happen to come your way. Favourite destination so far? Ooh, that's a tough one really. Tanzania I think has to take top pick. I absolutely love it. Um, but very, very hotly contested second place would be St. Brandon's in Mauritius. My best fly fishing memory? Seeing a tailing yellow margin trigger fish, casting, hooking, landing it on a fly I tied myself and without a guide. Mind you, thankfully he did come along with a net so we didn't lose him at the very end. Where's next on my bucket list? Ooh, well, somewhere unusual I hope. Uh, possibly somewhere in uh, East Africa, but West Africa has got plenty of opportunities I'd love to have the chance to explore. My role at Aardvark McLeod is quite wide-ranging. As Peter's business partner, uh, part of that is to steer the business and help it grow, find new markets and develop. Um, on a sales side, I tend to focus on those things I know best, which is the Indian Ocean, um, selling the Seychelles in particular, but I also focus on developing our non-fishing and combination trip market. So whether that be on safari in Africa, um, which is sort of home from home for me, or further afield um, in Central America where there are so many fabulous countries that are ideal for that kind of trip. It's, it's very much a mixed bag every day. never really quite know what I'm going to do or encounter, but it is something I love very much.